So we're gonna get into a little bit on protecting your name and transmuting any energy that is used against you to your advantage. And there's gonna be a little clip that I'm gonna include in this video. There are two original posters, so I'm just gonna include their information below if you wanna check out their full video and their pages as well. But they talk about what brings us here today. And that is literally using any negative energy that is brought towards you and taking that energy and literally changing it to your benefit. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna play their clip just to give you a little bit of insight on what we're gonna get into and then I'm gonna really gonna break down some stuff for you. You will be surprised how many people are calling themselves your friends or supporters. The moment you learn, and I mean really understand, that energy can always be transmuted and used to your benefit and your advantage, you won't give a fuck about who is monitoring you. You will not give a fuck about what people think of you or what people say about you because they're literally filling your meter. I know some people are into that return to sender thing, not me. I'm like, oh no, send it my way. Send it my way, please, because I'm gonna transmute it and I'm gonna use that. There's a reason why when multiple people are focusing on one thing, it manifests more quickly. Thought energy. And if you don't understand thought energy, thought energy is the reason why when you step into a room with absolutely no context of what happened, you can kind of pick up on the vibe and the collective energy of the space. It's the reason why you can sit next to someone and without them saying a word, you can get an idea of the mood they're in. I know the people that monitor me. I know the things they say. I know, and I use it to my advantage every single time. Before it even gets to me, I've alchemized it. Any energy sent in my direction, whether spoken or in thought form, I transmute it and I use it to my advantage. It only makes me shine brighter. It makes me more creative. It gives me more to give because you are literally giving me your energy. Thank you. So at the end of that clip, she literally gives a perfect example on one of the easiest and most powerful ways you can just transmute any of that energy. You literally heard her example of her affirming it. Her saying that any energy sent my way is going to turn to be something that's actually going to help me. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to either, you can literally take what she said if it's helpful to you and that can be your affirmation or you can make up your own. You don't need something as complex as a whole ritual or you know, having all these candles or whatever, like you are your most powerful tool. However, if you want to get funky with it and you want to do some candle work and you really just want to like utilize as much energy as you possibly can, do that as well. And I'm going to tell you a couple ways and how we can do that. So one thing that I really like to do is I bless my name. I've done this in two ways where I literally took like a white candle and I just put it on top of a piece of paper with my name and my birthday. And I said, if anybody speaks any harm onto me or my name, the second those thoughts leave their mind or leave their lips, it immediately is transformed into energy to help me to succeed, help me get my desires, help me secure the bag. And I just got into details like that. So that's one way that you can do it. Or you could just skip the candle work entirely and just use whatever affirmation comes to heart. Whatever you're looking for, if you're looking for certain success in specific endeavors, if you're looking to make a specific amount of money a month, secure a certain house, secure a certain job, secure like a specific endeavor in your own business, whatever it is, take that energy and say, anytime that someone wishes harm upon me or my businesses or my family or my home, what they're actually doing is they're blessing me. They're blessing my loved ones. They're blessing my money. They're blessing my businesses. That's all you need to do. You, we don't need to do anything crazy. And if you want to do something a little more in depth, like I said, you can get candles. White candles are amazing. You can use gray candles for neutralizing the energy. Uh, some people like black. I personally don't like black because I feel like that would be more of like a protection type of thing and almost like stopping stuff. And we're not trying to stop the energy. We're trying to take that energy and switch it around. You can use silver candles, you can use gold candles, you can use white candles, you can use blue candles. I don't know why, but I really wanna say lavender right now, it's just something that kinda of came into my head. Whatever feels 
good with you whatever resonates for you but also you know kind of keep in mind of you know the symbolizations and energy that each of those colors represent and that's literally all you have to do you can say that every single day you can do it once a month you can do it whenever you feel like you need to but what you need to remember is that you control whatever energy is welcomed into your space so why not take advantage of Anything that's going on around you, even if it's someone wishing something bad your way, you have the power and the energy to stop that shit. So do it. And make sure that you utilize the power of your words because it is the most powerful tool you will ever possess. So that is just a little bit on how to transmute energy and how to protect your name. If you want a little more in-depth descriptions or you want to just know more about it, let me know below and I'll make some more videos for you.